Hey everyone. So we're going to do a flip and drag on a 10 by 20 gallery wrap. Um, I haven't done a gallery wrap black yet, so this ought to be interesting. Getting the sides covered is, is a lot tougher um, than doing a standard canvas. I'm seeing a little clump there, so I'm getting it out now. So it won't drive me nuts later. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use um, some colors that I used in my last video. Um, the Naples yellow, the violet, the gold, and turquoise green. We'll do a standard flip and drag and airbrush it out. So this is for all my newbies that keep wanting to watch the flip and drag. So that's what we'll do. So I got my little five ounce cup. And I know you're probably washed out from the black. But we'll see if I can get it to focus in. I lay this can here, maybe that will help it a little. It did take a little bit away. Okay, so that was the WD 40, and I sprayed it in my cup. I just saw a fuzzy. <laughs> I caught it. Well, I thought I did. I don't know where they're coming from. And we'll put our paint in the cup and the WD-40 will release it all for us. It won't stay in the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and start with gold. I'm doing about a tablespoon of each color. And we'll follow that with the violet. And then the Grumbacher turquoise green. And then the Artist Loft Naples yellow. Okay, so I'm going to use my skewer and just slowly swirl those colors together. This is more paint than I normally would use, but the only reason I'm doing this is because color likes to um, sink into the black and the black likes to like take over so I want to make sure I start with enough color to begin with so I'm going to flip that right in the middle of my canvas <gasps> look at that I never do that but it's pretty <laughs> we'll work with it not a big deal so I probably don't have any suction on it yeah I do a little bit just a little bit I'm going to go ahead and poke a hole. That'll release that little bit of suction I have. And we'll just glide it around. And I'm trying to pick up a little bit of black as I go through here. spots here that I think I can move with this and then when we tilt that should uh, open up it's starting to go now let me go ahead and torch that I see some cells coming up there yeah they wanted to come up they wanted to come out and play Let me do a little tilting here just to move it around. Fill out the canvas. That purple looks so cool in there. round everything back out and the black is already eating the edges which gives it that little filigree look 
it's actually pretty. So I'm going to push it around now. What I'm doing is just bringing some color out into the black. It's probably going to eat half of it as it dries, but at least we'll have it out there. It gives it like a smoky effect, which is kind of cool with the black. We don't have a lot of color here, so I'm just moving it. I'm gonna turn it around. Squeaky canvas. really filled up that canvas which looks cool. So I'm just torching the rest of it. See if anything else wants to come out and play. Pop in the last of the air bubbles and then we'll move her to the drying rack. I um, dry my paintings for about three days before I move them to the curing rack and there they'll sit for a couple weeks before I do anything with them. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll be curious to see what it looks like when it's dry with that yellow. And the gold is in here. But yeah, it's going to be pretty. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click below. Click on the bell to get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook. If you have questions, you can message me through there. All the links are below in the description box. Check out my Amazon shop for all your painting supplies. Everything I use is there. Um, this is a washing machine tray, which is an awesome thing to pour in because you keep all your mess contained in one area. I do lay a piece of cardboard in mine, usually from the box that it came in. And I cover it with a cheap little dollar tablecloth. And then uh, I use the pads to collect my paint. But yeah, everything's there, guys. Um, I do have some paints on there as well. Arteza and um, Soho, I believe, Liquitex. But check it out. If you need anything in particular, treadmill, silicone, anything, it's all there. And check out my red bubble if you see prints like I'll take a picture of a certain area of this and put it on Redbubble for coffee cups and cell phone cases etc and they're all there too and that link is below as well if you would like to get in on our um, sponsorship sweepstakes giveaway <laughs> um, all you have to do is click that PayPal me link and donate a small amount um, whatever you want to donate um, all the money that we get from 
our donations is used to buy canvas and paint and um, it keeps our videos fresh that way we can upload videos for you every other day and and support and another way is to shop with us on Etsy and purchase um, paintings we are running them um, right now I believe 30% off and I have some in closeout that need to go and um, my jewelry is also on sale I have been uh, making jewelry for several years probably about 15 to 20 years so that's on there too and um, we do quite well with the jewelry sales there are some hand painted beads there as well that I did uh, last year so those will be available for purchase and the Christmas beads will be getting uploaded very shortly as soon as I go through my inventory and see how many I have left <laughs> but they're cute I have little Santas and snowmen and those will all get uploaded as well so thanks for watching guys um, if you have any questions like I said reach me through Facebook um, at Christina Welch art and I'll be getting right back to you within 24 hours usually it's within a few hours so just let me know if you have any questions and I'm sure I can help you if not I'll steer you in the direction to get the help so thanks for watching guys I will see you all on the next one bye now